The following is paid programming. It's time to talk taxes. New friends, new opportunities, new partners. EG Tax. It's Ask the Tax Lady with Esther Gullius and EG Tax on News Radio 930 WBEN. To reach Esther now, call 803-0930, toll free at 1-800-616-9236, and cell calls are free at star 930. And now, live from the WBEN studios, it's Esther Gullius. Hey everybody, it is the tax lady, and I mean we got like 17 days before the 2019 tax season is over. I mean we want it over, it over back on April the 15th. So we're here to help you. 8030930 8030930 star 930 on a cell phone. You can text your messages into 716 716- Eight zero three zero nine three zero, and I want to tell you, we will help you. Uh, there's a lot of people that haven't filed yet, who have been finally saying, "Well, it's summer and it's great." And who feel like doing? Who feels like doing taxes this time of year? I do. That's exactly how we feel. <clears throat> hey, I got Tiffany Fabian in the studio. Hey, Tiff. hey there, Esther. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, to you. and Christopher Fabian. Hey, Chris. Hello, Esther. When I told you that they might extend it to September the 15th, Chris, what was your... Um, I'm not allowed to say on the air, but it was something like the politicians can go somewhere. Uh, yeah. it, you know, I, I, BEN Tom Punker, Puckett called me and said, what did I think? And I couldn't tell him what I thought because, you know, uh, it's hard to work from 7 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night till April the 15th and then extend till July the 15th and then have them think about extending to September the 15th. But everything I've read since uh, that first kind of kerfuffle where they said they might do this, it looks like uh, July the 15th is the deadline. And if they're not ready, file an extension. Yeah, That's true. That's yep. true. But you still got to pay your liability. Right, 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 right. But right? still... <laughs> Right, Some that's consideration correct. because there's still an extension available to you, right? Yeah. If you can't get your paperwork in, I don't know how anybody this late in the day can't get their paperwork in. <clears throat> but I will tell you, I know I had a, a legal matter that somebody had sent me on the 22nd of February, and they wanted an answer. No, on the 22nd of March, and they needed an answer by April the 1st. And then they wrote me two days ago and said, gee, you haven't gotten us the information. I said, did you not know about COVID? I mean, <laughs> nobody will answer the phone. Right. Yeah. Which is exactly the situation. If you're somebody that paper filed your return, nobody's nobody's opened it up yet. Yeah, I so did we too. we suggest you do, an, do it electronically. Yeah, I did two returns yesterday for somebody who did her 18 and 19 paper and sh- they, we called and they don't even have record of it because yeah. the IRS told us yesterday on the phone they were furloughed that department and so so we e-filed her returns and that so way she'll get you, a return if you sooner. you would like your refund sometime before the end of 2020, you know, file your return electronically. If you somebody that sent it in as paper, give us give EG Tax a call, we'll do it electronically. Then when they finally open it up in September, they'll say, oh, look at this. Stella did it electronically. Yay for Stella, because that's really what they want you to do anyway. And the, now, it's uh, interesting with the COVID thing. I, I looked up on Wikipedia, major modern influenza pandemics. And in 1957 to 1958, the Asian flu right. happened. And that's H2N2, one to four million people died worldwide. Hong Kong flu, a one to four million people died worldwide. 2009 flu pandemic, 1.52 to 5.75, 575,000 people died. And in a typical flu season, 290,000 to 650,000 a year died worldwide. And I guess that, I'm saying that just to put everything into perspective because I think people, uh, I think fear is a really terrible thing. Yep. <clears throat> not yeah. that this is not a real thing, but, you know, people have been dying of flus for years. So. Yep. And, and then another thing I want to say, Esther, is yesterday I did a <clears throat> 16 return for somebody and um, because 16 is closing soon, too, and she didn't have her transcripts. And so her and I called the IRS. They put them in my secure mailbox. <clears throat> and I did her 16 return, and she was tickled pink. Now, a thing is, is she mailed in a large estimated payments many, 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 many years ago, 
And had she not done that return, that she extra would money would have been gone. Money. That's right. Because the statute of limitations is three years from the due date of the return or two years from the time the uh, additional tax pay payment uh, penalty, I mean, tax liability is due, whichever is later. So 16 is going to close on July the 15th. So if you haven't filed, if you, and if you haven't filed on 16 and they haven't been calling you or writing you, uh, probably writing you, that means probably have a refund coming in. You're going to lose that money. And EG Tax is here to help you, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. All right. All right. So we, uh, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 on a cell phone. You can text us at 716 so uh, 17 days left till July the 15th. So the first thing, you got to do it. Yep, I get it it's done. It's snowing outside. I know it's not April. It's not July. It's not February. You just got to get in your office with your stuff and do the return. Yeah, it's so funny. I'll see some of my priors, <clears throat> and I'm like, is this weird? We're here in shorts, and we're doing your tax return. It's yep. just a strange and, thing. You know, people are, uh, I'm not ready yet because of COVID. How can you not be ready yet? Well, it's, it's interesting. I mean, if you're in your house with a mask on, it doesn't stop you from getting your forms together. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And then also, you know, I just, you know, little... yesterday I was, I, I'm sorry to for step, okay. stepping on you. I had somebody that texted me and um, he said, well, he's not, he's not, he's going to file a short form and all that stuff. And, and I, you know, I was asking him questions and he said, oh, his, um, his child uh, is already gone through the first four years of higher education and she's 22. And so he's not going to claim her and he's, because she doesn't get the education credit. And I said, there is another credit called the lifetime learning credit. And she happens to be in her um, master's program and her education is over $20,000. So he's gonna save 20% of the first 10,000, which is $2,000. And had I not pursued him, he would have missed that. Yeah, a yeah. Two thousand dollar credit. Huge. And what I was going to say is um, that person who I did the eighteen and nineteen e file because they did a paper. They still hadn't gotten their stimulus money. So us doing that because return would open up that right. for them too. Absolutely, that's correct. Yeah. So, so the whole thing is, when you're doing it yourself and you don't know the tax law then you're probably doing it wrong. There's things in the law that you don't know and you're overpaying. So what I really would suggest is that you get some professional second opinion to make sure that what you did is the best for you because they're not gonna let you know if it's mathematically correct, it'll be like a hot knife through butter and uh, they, won't, they won't let you know. So you wanna make sure that you have somebody else that knows what they're doing. When we look at a tax return, we understand, did you qualify for the retirement savers contribution? If you do this, you can do that because many of these things overlap, these benefits. Yeah. If you do something on the right-hand side, it gets you a larger credit on the left-hand side, which is so important. So again, um, only 17 days and get your stuff together. And I know it's summertime, but whatever. Right? Right. All right, I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930, star 930 on a cell phone. Text us at 716-8030. And we got our calls waiting. We'll be back on the other side with your questions. Hey, everybody, we think of you as family. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG Tax. I'm joined in the studio with Tiff Fabian, Christopher Fabian, and we want to help you with your last 17 days of the 2019 tax year. And of course, 2020, if uh, you are a very progressive person and you're ready to go. So let's go to Mike. Hey, Mike, how can we help you, sir? Uh, how you doing? Good. Some more help again. You said get a second opinion. I'm getting a yes, sir. opinion. You said 16, which is doing 17, isn't due till July on the federal. Well, no, it's not like it isn't due. That's when it closes. 
Right. How about the state? Nope. I called New York State. New York State um, said that it was done uh, April 15th, 2016. I had them ask their supervisor, and the supervisor also said New York State closed on April 15th. But better the okay. nothing. Better than nothing if you got the federal. So just the federal's good, Mike. Okay. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Good Mike. question. All right, and we're gonna go to um, Don. Hey, Don. Yeah, uh, if you got your stimu stimulus based on your 2018 tax return, yep. And you file your 2019 tax return, and you're not due the stimulus. Uh huh. Are you got a overpayment or? Well, then you're gonna reconcile that with 2020 because on the 2020 return, they're going to have a stimulus credit adjustment form. Yep. And based upon 2020 is what your stimulus is actually going to be based upon. So it, it, you have an opportunity this year to reduce your, your income so you'd still qualify. Okay. And the second question is, is there going to be a second stimulus? I don't have a crystal ball. I, they are talking about it. Uh, right now, um, that I don't think there's going to be one. There may, but I don't think so. I think that um, I think that ship has sailed. What do you think, Chris? What were you gonna I was going to say I know I believe they're waiting to see how, how jobs are coming back yeah. and things like that. So, right. Have you heard about extending unemployment? Nope. No. Yeah. 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 So okay. One final question. Yes, sir. Uh, are they? They're talking about extending the July fifteenth. Uh, for yes, the, they are. Right. Yep. Nope. I would not. I would not go to the bank on that. I every every uh, professional we've talked to, and we talked to all kinds of people this week, have said that they don't think that they're going to extend it. So uh, July fifteenth is the deadline, and that's when you got to get everything in. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Don. Good I'm Mr. Golios, the tax lady from EG Tax eight zero three zero nine three zero. 8030930 hey. star 930 in a cell phone uh, and our text is 7168030930 yeah yeah sorry to sorry to say anything um <laughs> I've, I've also been noticing a lot of people regrettably have been losing their job through this and um at our office Tim Eliason or I don't care if you use Tim or not is a healthcare navigator and so if you don't have your job a lot of my clients are getting cobra which is really ghastly expensive and so getting health insurance through the marketplace right now well, you're unemployed might be a, a good yeah, option much for you. Option. Yeah, right. uh, it is true. You know, I mean, when this thing, this whole thing shakes down after shutting down the economy, I think a lot of people are going to find out that the jobs that they thought were there aren't going to be there, and that's why uh, we have Dennis Kitchen there to help you with your should your financial situation require bankruptcy protection. Uh, if you are somebody that. Uh, was getting your health insurance through COBRA. Looking at New York State of Health would be a much better option for you many times. You can call our uh, the president of EG Health Connect, Tim Elias, and like Tiff said, there are other options. But to stay where you are without asking for help is probably the worst thing that you can do because, you know, there are all these options out there. and. You know, when you don't know something, that's the worst thing because th you aren't avail able to avail yourself of what's out there. Right. And, you know, and, you know, Barla, bring up health insurance. That's one of the areas. Next year, we don't know what. Can you imagine what the cost of health insurance is going to be? Because what insurance companies are paying out right now? I hate to say, but you know they're going to raise our rates again to for health insurance, and you really got to shop around and be careful with that. Yep, that's right. And um, so again, we have a whole division called EG Health Health, health, EG health Connect, and um, you can just call our corporate headquarters. You can go through our website, and we'll be very happy to help you. It it's very daunting when you take a look at everything. Right now, we all feel kind of protected because that extra money is coming in till July the fifteenth, and it's summertime, and you know everything feels good. But I think that um, you know I think we're going to have a hard nut to swallow mm -hmm. here coming up. Hope yep. not. Wish I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Eight zero three zero nine three zero eight zero three zero nine three zero star nine thirty in a cell phone. I want to also tell you that. If you owe money when you do your tax return, when you finally do your tax return, um, and you take a look at you and you owe, change your W-4 at work. 
-hmm. so that they take more money out if you're still lucky enough to have a job uh, so that you don't owe money come come January and again like we've said every week if you're getting that six hundred dollar uh, bump from unemployment from the federal government and you haven't had anything withheld in addition to New York State all of that is fully taxable so you wanted to make sure that you got some money set aside to pay the taxes on that unemployment right right and you know you said if they owe money change their w-4 I would say if you always get big refunds change that w-4 oh, that's, that's absolutely correct Chris you know because we've seen tons of calls I haven't gotten my refund yet and I filed my return if you know the IRS was shut down they're delaying it and you know you may get a couple pennies extra in interest but you could have had that money last year so well, and, and let's let's put it into real terms Let, let's say that you're getting a ten thousand dollar refund and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on that money and it hasn't come if you would have changed your w-4 and claimed more allowances the more allowances you claim the less they take out okay then instead of getting a ten thousand dollar refund you might have only gotten a five hundred dollar refund and you would have gotten the ninety five hundred dollars as you earned it and that makes a lot of sense and that's what chris is saying because getting a large refund means you wait until they pay you right exactly and they and control that waiting you know how horrible it is waiting yep you know who would have th ever thought that this all this stuff was going to happen and and every every time i turn on the tv i hear some kind of oh this is getting worse we're going to shut this down oh this is getting worse we're going to shut this down and you look at it and they're controlling your life so yep. change your w4 okay, exactly let's go back to the phones and we got ray hey ray <clears throat> how can we help you oh hi esther good um, how are you ray Two things. First of all, yeah. I want to give you a compliment to Tim Elias, and he's helped us with our taxes the last three years. He's been great. Oh, thank you. The second thing is, as I understand it, my wife just turned 70 a month or so ago, and uh, it was at 70 and a half. She had a uh, 401k retirement thing through her work. Now, she doesn't work there anymore, but she's left it with them. And I was thinking that they've extended the time that you have to start taking out a certain percentage from that. Is that correct? That's correct. It's, it's now moved to age 72. That's the first change. But the big change is that even if she had to start doing her RMD, which she didn't, but even if she had to, and those of you that are like 76 or 77 that have to do your RMD, all RMDs are set aside, even the ones that are inherited, okay? All RMDs are set aside for tax year 2020. Okay. okay? The other question, it's related to this. Um, I have been retired for a couple of years, and I'm getting a pension from where I used to work. It's not taxable because it's not more than my uh, living expenses, and I'm retired clergy. Okay. So All you're of my a housing allowance. I know it. Uh, <laughs> basically, what I'm trying to ask is, since I'm having all of my pension received, does that affect what she has to take out of hers whenever that time eventually comes? No. 70? It's all based upon her actuarial tables, her life expectancy, and the fair market value as of 1231 in that year that she would be doing the required minimum distribution. But it might change um, how much your Social Security is taxed or if you guys have to file. Right, but not up from not from the RMD. Though. Right. Okay. All okay. right. So we, we, won't, we won't even think about it for another year. All right. There you go. There God, you go. God bless you, sir. <laughs> Good Thank question. Thank you for your service. All right. And we're going to go to Roger. Hey, Raj. How can we help you, sir? Hi. Uh, hello, Esther. Uh, military yeah. pension. My first year for my military pension, and I wanted to know, is it New York State tax exempt? Is it tax exempt? Tell Roger some good news. And well, yeah, it is. Amen. Uh, on New York, it. it is. Yes. <coughs> you yep. deserve tax it. Yes, it is. The federal, but not on the state. Oh, my, for my tax guy, they only uh, exempted the first 20000 Then Then your tax guy the, made a mistake. And, and I've seen that happen numerous times. Okay, good enough. Okay. So you win the bet. Yeah, okay. come in and let us amend it <laughs> to get you the extra money back. Or tell them to amend it. Right. Yeah. 
Okay, Roger? Still waiting to hear from them. <laughs> well, you can give us a call. We're there uh, 9 to 7, Monday through Friday, nine to nine. 9 to 5 on Saturday. So we will be very happy to help you. Did you pay any tax to New York, I was wondering? Yes, I did. Well, okay. we'll get you some money back then. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Roger. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 on a cell phone. Text us at 716-8030930. Um, we have 17 days till a, uh, July the 15th, <laughs> which is the end of tax season. At least. You <laughs> almost we, said it. We, we hope. I know I almost said it. I almost said April the 15th. Okay. Um, what if you haven't filed multiple years? Can we do multiple years? Well, first of all, if you haven't filed multiple years and the IRS isn't writing you, that usually means that you either have a refund or you had no liability. So if there was withholding on your 1099-R or your W-2, that means you have money coming back. And if you don't file, you lose that money, right? That's right. right. Yep. That's right. So you want to file. That's right. Get it done. All right. Uh, the other thing is... News. Uh, Oh yeah, I know I got a I know I got a break for news. Okay, I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady. 8030930, 8030930, star nine thirty nine cell phone. Text us at seven one six eight zero three zero nine three zero. I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady. We'll see you on the other side. Julius, the tax lady from EG Tax, and to us, your family. And we got 17 days, family, to get our tax returns in. And we certainly want to help you. Um, again, 8030930, 8030930, nine thirty on our cell phone. You know, it was interesting. I was thinking during the break. Um, even though they will let you take up to $100,000 out of your 401k plan, uh, which is going to be even under the age of 59 and a half without a penalty, don't take the money out if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I was listen, I was thinking of Dennis Kitchen saying that uh, uh, you've gone into cr serious debt, credit card debt. The the reason uh, uh, it's so sad because the, they protect your pension because your pension is meant for when you're old. When you take money out of your pension plan, even though there's an exclusion against the penalty, that money, if you pay off your credit card debt with it, um, is j gone. So you would be better off to have run up credit cards and gone and done a bankruptcy. It, it's uh, absolutely mathematically correct because the pension is a, a protected asset under the state of New York and federal government, and they want you to keep that money in there uh, for when you get older, right? Mm -hmm. It's right? coveted. Right, a coveted protection thing it's, it's so sad but you know many times we see people that say oh, I got credit cards I want to take money out of my pension plan and the truth is you'd be better off doing a bankruptcy it's true that's mm -hmm. right yep okay got. let's go to George who's been waiting hey George oh no I got yeah, yeah, yeah hey George hi Esther how um, can we help you sir I have a question about the CARES Act um, I'm retired and um, in 2019, I took a buyout um, pension plan from my employer. And the money that I took in 2019 um, just did not qualify me then um, to receive any of the, the uh, money from the federal government. Right. Um, and I, this year, will be well under You'll get it for this year then. So what they're going to do, uh, George, is when you file your 2020 return, they're going to give you another shot at the apple. So they're going to ask you how much your income is for 2020 and if you didn't get the stimulus. That's what you're talking about, the stimulus, right? Correct. They're going to give you an opportunity to get it. Okay. Okay? Okay. And I had a, um, another question. I have, um, I have a home. And it's paid for, and I don't have any debt. Um, but my 401k is all that me and my wife are living on now because we're waiting on our Social Security until our Social Security age. Uh -huh. And how we distribute the money out of our 401k, does it matter? Like, currently I'm taking um, $20,000 out of my wife's 401k because of the state allotment allowing $20,000. 
and then they take the balance out of my 401k. To, is that necessary, or is well, that which one we take it out of? Okay, well, let me ask you this. I know you're, you're waiting on Social Security because it's growing, mm -hmm. but you're paying tax to the federal <laughs> government right now <laughs> on that pension. Right. Okay, when you could be taking your Social Security, and if that's all you have is income, it, that would be tax-free both on the federal and the state. So the money you think you're saving, you could be losing. So, George, how old are you, may I ask? I'm 64. Okay, so if you take a look at the amount of money that you would get extra if you wait, and... Mm -hmm and you divide that by the money you're letting them keep. So over a period of time, it's like well over, especially wait till 70, uh, it's like a hundred and some thousand dollars. Right. The extra money you get, if you divide that into the money that you let them keep, you have to live to well past 85 to break even. So that's something that what Chris and, is telling you, it's that's something you want to take a look at. And it would be tax free. Okay. 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 I, so that's one of the curious one of the things that I was curious about because I, my plan was to take it at sixty six and four months or whatever it is for my age bracket. Well, again, you have to say how much extra I'm gonna get per month right. for that two year wait and how much did I let them keep? If I let them keep fifty thousand and I divide it by the extra um, 2000 I'm getting, how many years do I have to live to break even? So if you want to call us, we will help you. There's no... There's no <clears throat> on our website, there's a calculator, too. Um, how much are you losing if you wait to collect Social Security? It's right on egtax.com. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling. And, you know, and not to mention, too, that um, if he dies at 65 and he's not on Social Security... I know. They don't get, but they don't go back to say, oh, you could have had it when you were 62. So here, Mrs. George, here's all this money. They say, I'm sorry, he passed away. Here's your $250. Right. So That's where the 401k money is staying out there, whether he lives or dies, if he passes away, his wife gets that. I mean, everybody always feels so cool. Like, oh, wow, if I'm 70, I get 3000 a month. Yeah, but you let him keep 200000 you're getting three thousand a month, but you let them keep two hundred thousand. Yeah. You know, I mean, so I mean, that's the thing, and it's not like they. Chris is absolutely right. They don't come up to you at the funeral and say, "I'm so sorry that your husband passed away or your wife passed away." Here's the money that they let us keep. It's gone. So, and I know there's a lot of people that say that uh, that's not the right way to think about it but if you take a look at the actuarial tables they think as you get older the likelihood of you living is less yeah and i know someone told me a financial person told me they were talking to a social security lawyer someone who gets paid by social security and they said 95 percent of the time social security <laughs> wins right okay so. let's go to dan who's been waiting hi mr dan how can we help you sir Hello, Esther. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. Okay. I got this. Let, I have a question about the CARES Act. Now, a lot of my sure. friends and relatives in April, they got their stimulus check. I never received it. Then all of a sudden, last month in May, I got this letter from the Internal Revenue Service, Department of Treasury from Austin, Texas, official letter, looks like. And it opened up. It's from the White House. And it says here, I'm pleased to notify you that as provided by the CARES Act, you are receiving an economic impact payment of $443.80 by check or debit card. Now, this is May 22nd. I still haven't received anything. Have you heard Are you sure you didn't get the debit card? Pardon me? Are you sure you didn't get the debit card? No, there's nothing in this letter. I, no. No, no. no, it wouldn't be in the no, letter. It would, it would come be. under separate cover <clears throat> in a plain envelope, which many people threw in the garbage can. Ooh, it won't. It won't have the department. Of um, no, nope, it will not. I, but Tiffany has I, some good. Well, I know what to do. There's a form to fill out if it's missing. I think it's a form three one one five. Call me on Monday and I'll get you that form. I'll drop it in the mail to you. There's, and there's a, even a number to call for the credit debit card right. to see if you had a debit yeah, card. Yeah. So call because me on Monday. I, I, the they, form they is set really it what under they tell you to do. Separate cover in an unmarked envelope, and I have to tell you, if I were getting my because I look at my mail I throw out a lot of stuff I don't open it up you might have just discarded it but we can get you, help you get your money back yeah there's an IRS form to get it 
Okay. Okay. What so, number? Uh, six three two seven eight eight six six three two seven eight eight six and ask to speak to me, Tiffany Fabian. Tiffany. Okay. Okay. Thank you much. All right, Dan. Thanks. Thanks for waiting. We have a text, Tiff. Yep, we do. Um, it says I am almost sixty-four years old, good health, single, recently retired with a twenty-five thousand a year federal pension, six hundred and seventy in my four hundred one k, three hundred thousand in savings, no debt. Um, what are your thoughts on taking Social Security now or waiting till full retirement? Should I wait? If so, which account should I withdraw from first? I love your show. Oh, thank you. Well, I mean, this kind of goes back to the caller before. Uh, if you take a look at the extra money you're going to get, so you'd get an extra 32% on the money that you were gonna, you're going to get, and that would be for the rest of your life. That is correct. But in the meantime, they're holding hundreds of thousands of dollars and so then you have to divide that by your increase and it'll tell you that you have to live about 17 years 17 and a half years longer to about 85 then you're ahead okay and and that that's true you may be ahead at 85 I don't know that you'll care at 85 if you're ahead mm -hmm. I don't know if the nursing home will be happy at 85 but the truth is now you're young now you could use the money as chris said on the other caller much of it may not be taxable at all so um you really have to do uh you have to look at the equation i know we all think we're going to live forever the truth is the actuarial tables say that we're going to die and so um if it were my if it were my decision i would take it now a bird in a hand is worth two in the bush especially since our bushes seem to be burning lately if you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying <laughs> so all right i'm esther Golius, the tax lady from eg tax 8030930 8030930 star 930 and a cell phone and we have jeff hey jeff how can we help you hey guys um i uh, have had my taxes done by you and maria has been my tax person yes uh, I sold my office building, and she said I have to look for all the improvements that were made. Does this just apply to, like, major things like electrical panels, or is it just a little... Well, really, what we're trying to figure out is what your correct basis in the property is, because obviously you haven't been our client for a very long time, correct? We just recently took over your file? About three years. Yeah. So... Over the, over the years, you would have had improvements that would have been depreciable or depreciated. So all the depreciation uh, adjusts the cost basis. So what she's probably trying to do is come up with the correct adjusted basis for the building. Because if you put in improvements that increase the basis, but your depreciation reduces the basis, so... Um, I think that's what she's probably. And Chris, at. should he look for small things or just not small? Things. Not small things. Yeah, things that have useful life of more that than one year. Yeah, I would go through your old tax returns, look for depreciation schedules, make sure Maria has everything that's on there. To so, make sure that the adjusted basis is correct. Yeah. So to answer your question, if it's just something to repair something, that wouldn't be. You want something that's big, and the, new the driveway. Thing is, are you going? You going to sell your business, or are you looking to? your building are you looking to reinvest that in another building or are you just going to kind of cash out i don't think so i'm going to try to get out of new york okay <laughs> well you could always exchange you can, it you for can exchange it you can you can get out of new york and exchange that for a building in florida if you're going to florida it's been i think it's too late for that you already got the cash um yeah yeah um, too late okay so well, um, i've been going through 31 years of tax documentation what should i bring in oh we really don't well, need you know any what? of it. Just you know write it all do? down We're on a spreadsheet. Maria and we'll make sure she contacts you on Monday. How's that? Okay. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930. 8030930 star 930 in a cell phone. Yeah, but the and truth is, Esther, he doesn't have to bring in all that document. No, he could uh, just put it together no, on a know, spreadsheet. Know. You know? <clears throat> yep. Okay. And then uh, we have John. Hi, John. How can we help you? Uh, hi, Esther. Um, this is sort of similar uh, to uh, one of the questions you had before. Um, <clears throat> I am receiving currently uh, a pension of fifty, about fifty-three thousand dollars a year, 
I have about uh, 500000 in my 401k. Uh, I get a little bit of money from uh, stock dividends and interest. My wife and I will both be starting Social Security. Uh, I am 68. I'm going to start, and she's going to be 66. So she will start getting some of that. That total will be about uh, 4000 a month, which would be about 48000 a year. Now, on there, it asks, how much to take? How much do you want taken out for taxes? And I have no idea. What what should I? Well, on the social, you're on the social security. That's going to be probably eighty five percent taxable. Um, so uh, he he can have withholding on his social security, which might be easier. Yeah, seven, ten, twelve, or twenty two percent. I would say give us, and I I hate when we keep saying that, but give us a call during the week. We can run and the we numbers can run the right numbers. over the phone. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, because yeah, really, without running the numbers, it's it's just a crapshoot. You want to make sure that we do the right thing. So call but, us at six three two seven eight eight. And you're smart to plan. I have so many clients who right. haven't planned like you are, and then at the end of the and year, they're left holding the bag. Congratulations on your financial situation. Yep. So very yeah. smart. All right, I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady from EG Tax, 8030930, 8030930, star 930 on a cell phone. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back on the other side. We are family. Hey, this is Esther Golius, the tax lady, and to us, your family, 17 days, boys and girls, before July the 15th, and EG Tax is there to help you. We have a number of offices that are there. Um, that can help you. Uh, the important thing is get your appointment in ASAP because uh, as we move towards that deadline, it's going to be more and more busy. So uh, we certainly want to help you. So you can call us at 632-7886. I got a little story. The other day I was doing a tax return for this lovely gentleman who said, you know, I don't know why I'm coming in to see you. I could have done it myself and uh, did his tax return. and. Then I said, well, you owe $800. And he said, oh, oh, wow, oh, gosh. And I said, well, you know, your wife is working. Have you thought of putting money into an IRA for her? And she, he was a gentleman who had married someone um, younger than him, substantially younger than him. And um, so he said, well, how, how much should I put in? And I said, well, if you put in $4,000, um, you're going to get the $1,000 retirement saver. You're going to get a $1,000 retirement savers contribution credit. And the bottom line is, he moved from getting an $800 balance due to an $1,800 refund hmm. just hmm. by putting some money into an IRA. And that's still available till July the 15th. People don't understand that the pension savers credit is up to 50% on people with uh, AGI of $39,000. And many times when you're a senior and you're on Social Security, your adjusted gross income is way under that. So you put in 4000 you save two. I mean, most people are looking for return on investment. Hello? Yep. yep. Right? Yep. So uh, that's just part of what working with a tax professional will do for you. Right, right. right. We know the angles. <laughs> we do. It's like shooting pool. Yep. Right? Okay, who do we have now? Uh, Roberta. Roberta. Hey, Roberta, how can we help you, my dear? Hi, Hi Esther. I have two questions for you. On the stimulus check at twelve hundred, uh-huh. do you have to pay taxes on it? No, ma'am. It's tax free. Yay! It's a gift. Well, if you're unemployed and you're collecting six hundred dollars, do you have to? Pay that is taxable. The unemployment is taxable. The stimulus payment is tax free. Okay, but even though you're uh, low income and you get yes, ma'am. Yep. Now, you may ultimately, because, okay, so there's a word, taxable means it is subject to tax. But after all of the gyrations of the tax code, you may end up not paying any taxes on it. But it is taxable, even though you may not ultimately pay taxes. Okay. And I'll give you an example. Let's say that your taxable income from unemployment is $20,000, okay? and you're married filing a joint return, and you and your husband are living on Social Security plus the unemployment, collectively you would not pay any tax, even though the income is taxable, after you apply your deductions, you pay no taxes. Okay, so like I said, um, he just got laid off about a month ago. He's getting $600, plus they're on food stamps. 
Okay. Did he? How much money did he make up to this point? Uh, I really don't know, but it must have been low for them to qualify for mm-hmm. stamps. Well, I mean, give me an idea. Um, this is your child? No, this is my nephew. All right. So, how much do you think your nephew made prior to the time he le- he lost 30, his job? Say thirty thousand. All right. So, and he's married. Yes, and he has. Does he have children? Two. All right. So the this is what's going to happen. He's going to have taxable unemployment, taxable wages. All right. But to that, he's going to apply his standard deduction, which will mean he might have maybe. Uh, two thousand dollars, uh, twenty thousand dollars taxable. The tax liability on that's two thousand. But each of his kids is going to qualify for a two thousand dollar child tax credit. The rest of it's going to get an earned income credit. Not, not the rest, because it's unemployment. No, but he's still got thirty thousand in wages. Mm-hmm. No, that's what he normally makes a year. No, that's what she said. He, she she said asked before. She asked yeah. before. Uh, anyway, if he made thirty thousand, he'd get an earned income credit on the thirty thousand, and so he's actually going to get a refund, and he won't pay taxes. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. All right. Thank you, dear. But again, if he wants us to run the numbers, have him have him call us. Yep. Really good question. Yep. Okay. Who do we have now? Uh, Carol, number one. Hey, Carol, number one. How can we help you? Hi, guys. I have a son lives with us. He's on partial. SSD, he's 40. He normally only worked one day a week. His last pay date was February 24th to March uh, 1st. Is he eligible for a stimulus or anything because my husband husband has not been able to get through on anything, but I don't... Is, Is somebody claiming him as a dependent on their return? No. Yeah, then he's entitled to stimulus. Well... My husband hasn't been able to sign him up for some reason. On okay, the- well, if your husband calls us at 632-7886, we will help you to make sure he gets his money. At no charge. Well, we'll pay. <laughs> so good. No, there's no charge. I mean, so, you know, give us a jingle. We'll help you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. All right, and Carol number two. Hi, Carol. How can we help you? Hi, this is Carol. <laughs> Hello. Well, you're breaking We're going to put up. you on hold for a second. Yeah. Maybe you'll get in a better cell zone. Yeah, that's true. Either that or, or call back, right? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady, 8030930, 8030930. Wanted to let you know that uh, don't forget, like I talked about the pension savers credit, student loan interest when you're doing your return this last 17 days, adjustments such as self employment health insurance. Uh, part of your FICA, SEP contributions. Don't ignore New York State. New York State has a ton of credits and all kinds of things that are are, uh, beneficial. And you can itemize on the state even though you might not be able to on the federal. Don't forget there's the earned income credit on the federal and the state. There's an education credit, lifetime learning, and American opportunity. Daycare credits for somebody that is helping you to pay, uh, help you, helping you so you can work for your uh, dependent children up till age 13 and disabled spouse or child. Uh, firefighters credit, foreign tax credits, excess FICA if you have more than one employee, employer. Um, and um, and rentals, if you're doing rental properties, schedule E's this time of year. Make sure you're taking all your expenses correctly, especially depreciation, because all of that. Right. And g- with New York, too, if you pay long-term care insurance, oh. they offer a 20% credit for the, for the money you pay for your long-term sh- right. care, which so, carries forward year after year. Right. So you so could even be... Even though you might not be able to use it on the federal, there is a state credit for uh, long-term uh, care insurance. Yeah, there's a caller coming in that it's right, going to be tight. Carol? Is, she uh, is it Carol? No, somebody else. All right, well, Jay, we'll talk uh, to them. Okay. okay. What? And go ahead, caller. Hi, caller. How can we help you? Hi, Frank. Hello. Hey, how can we help you? Um, I'm uh, calling about the uh, the CARE Act. Yeah. If you could give me some information about it. My sister is 90 four years old and she lives alone and I take care of her every day. 
Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm under that at all, Lester. Do, do you, it, does she have income? Pardon me? Does she have a source of income? Um, she has a Social Security and a small pension. How small of a pension? Um, $54. Oh. A month. All right. So are, are you furnishing her support, more than 50% of her support? I'm giving her all of her support. Well, what does she do with her Social Security? Oh, she takes it. She she makes Social Security. She also has. Okay, let let me just say this. It sounds like she's your dependent. You'd be able to file. Are you single or married? I'm single. So you'd be head of the household, and you'll be able to claim her as a dependent. And so I'd suggest you give us a jingle so we can make sure that we straighten out all your past returns. And if you claim her as a dependent, she's not entitled to the stimulus money. Right, but he's entitled to 500 Which could be a lot. Right? Well, and had a household, and which had would a household. give him a lot more money than 500 right. So, again, we don't know till we look at the numbers. Uh, no charge, 632-7886. Uh, she would definitely be in charge, entitled to the $1,200 stimulus, but you might do better off being head of the household. So again, we you have to pull, play all the angles to see how it all uh, pans out. And you can call us at 632-7886. Okay? Yep, please. All right, until next week, I'm Esther Golius, the tax lady with Tiffany Fabian, Christopher Fabian. We have a number of our offices. We don't have all of them off, open. We have a number of our offices open uh, pretty much uh, every day. Right, Chris? Right, yeah. right. West Seneca, Williamsville, and our corporate office on Colvin Boulevard is open every day, 9 to 9, right. Saturday, 9 to 5. And you can go to our website at egtax.com. Call us at 632-7886. Until next week, I'm Esther Gullius, the tax lady with Tiffany Fabian, Christopher Fabian. Thank you for allowing us to help you. Uh, talk to you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.